Hey everybody, we just got back from Brookville Lake and as you can see, we finished off with our limit of walleyes. Not a whole lot of size, we ended up with a lot of eater sized fish, 14 to 16 inches. But uh, we had a great day, fought the weather all afternoon, ended up being a crankbait bite, which is something we didn't really expect. But nonetheless, we actually prefer to do that because then you just don't have to mess with live bait. But it was a good time. We got fish to clean, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do that also. So today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our Raptor Razor products. This is a Raptor Razor Mako, awesome for cutting ribs out of fish and helping skin fish. We got the big game skinner, white tailed deer, elk, any of your bigger game, take the hide right off of it. Then we also have the meat hooks. Now they got a, a bigger one and a smaller one. And what the neat things about these is the handles actually unscrew so you can use this to hang your meat in your meat cooler. You get you a piece of steel rod or something to hang through there and you just hook your meat right on there and you can leave it straight in the cooler. Basically a clean walleye is about like cleaning any other fish. You go down, over, flip, and then cut the meat out, which I'm gonna show you now. A lot of people do it different. I was raised on an electric knife. Some people like just a regular fillet knife. Some people like to keep the skin on. 
There's a million ways to do it. I found this to be the most productive way, especially on these smaller 14 to 16 inch size fish. Go straight down to the straight down to the backbone, give it a little turn. Go straight down to the tail. When you get to the tail, stop, flip the, the skin and fillet over, and then cut the and then cut the fillet off of the skin. That gives you that piece of meat. It's not done yet. I usually like to close that piece and just save space, flip the fish over, and repeat the first step on this side. Flip it. That gives you the fillets. We still got to cut the ribs out. If you can see your finger through there, you've pretty well got most of the meat, which I can. We're done with that fish. Next step is to get these ribs out. We use the Raptor Razor Mako knife. Go straight down behind the ribs and the reason I like this knife is because it gives you a nice almost diagonal edge to get back behind the ribs so you don't miss any meat once that's off that's trash and then that's your fillet there that can go in the water it's done repeat that step with this with the other half of the fillet same thing with the mako down get a little angle there these knives are razor sharp, so you gotta be a little bit careful. You end up with two really nice fillets, and that's about a 14 inch fish, so, well, a little bit more than 14. You end up with, you know, a couple of these, and you're set for a meal.